Hello. The purpose of this video is to show you the equipment you will use for the ball on ramp pack. So here you have a ball, here you have a ramp, and the ball rolls down the ramp. And what you're interested in is whether the energy is conserved, in other words, whether the energy at the top um, is equal to the energy at the bottom, the energy of the ball. So it's easy enough to work out the potential energy at the top of the ramp. It's not so easy to work out the kinetic energy at the bottom. But if we let the ball roll off the ramp and onto the floor, we can find the distance that it travels along the floor and using projectile motion, we can then work out um, what the velocity at the top of the ramp must have been. Okay. Now it's a little difficult to see where the ball lands on the floor. So that what we're going to do is we're going to use a piece of paper that we stick down onto the floor. and a piece of carbon paper. Carbon paper is paper that's got black stuff on one side that comes off. So we're going to stick that down on top with the black side underneath and let the ball roll down the ramp. And what you can see is that where the ball lands we end up with a mark on the paper. All right, now does the ball land in the same spot every time? Let's have a look. Okay, there we can see that the ball doesn't land in exactly the same place, so there's, a, there's some uncertainty in, the, in that distance that the ball travels. Now, in order to measure the distance that the ball travels, you need to know where the bottom of the ramp is on the ground. And for that, you can use a plumb line. So there's a piece of string with a mass on the end, and if you hold it at the end of the ramp, it hangs down and touches the floor directly below the bottom of the ramp. All right, that's all you need to know. Good luck.